Hi everyone. Hope you are all doing very well and uh, ready for next chapter. Guys, welcome back to Cam's Tech Talk. And today we're going to learn chapter three about Trailhead. So previously I covered chapter one, where we had a really baby walk started. Basically, we start learning about how Trailhead how the developer account and the difference between two different IDs, how it merged. And in the second one, we learned about trail mixes and how many they are, how you can do trail mixes with your own and how you can utilize some tweaks. So I did show you guys some tricks about it to find out what you want to learn. So there is a proper channel and um, uh, you can you can do it by yourself now. I hope so, right? But I'm 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 waiting for questions of when you when you finish watching your chapter two as well. Uh, post your questions. We can talk about it. Okay. Okay. So I hope you're ready ready for chapter three, and uh, we are going to start something. What's my career? going to be in Salesforce. It's very important. I get so many questions people are talking about. Guys, I'm a programmer and I want to switch to Salesforce. Uh, guys, I'm an admin and I want to go to functional. And some people wants to go to business analyst and people wants to go to architect, system admin. There, there are many, many, many opportunities in Salesforce. Even it, it's kind of never ending. I, I did I did do one of the blog basically where we talk about multiple jobs, guys. I will put that one um, in my in my description link uh, so you can have a look and review what are the general job categorizations available. But today, with the help of Trailhead, we are going to see a step by step. How can I choose? Where do I find and what are the options available? Okay, so this is going to be really interesting chapter, short and nice. Okay, focus is again trailhead to choose your own career path. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on, on the trailhead and we all going to see how it looks like. All right, guys, so here you go. So I am on trailhead and I'm still going to use the same test account, but definitely I will switch with my current and, and this one as well, okay? So let's have a look. So I'm logged in. Uh, previously, we have seen the interface, how it looks like, you guys seen the today, you guys learned the trails and trail mixes. So that was our past, right? Let's move to this. So look at this, career paths. Explore which career is, is right for you. Let's click here. Right, so look guys, the interesting thing is Salesforce, it's, it's, it's actually a online complete training and university for you, kind of, because you can get trained yourself. Discover your ideal career, career in the cloud, okay? So scrolling down, so these are the current figures. So North America, Western Europe, Asia, the, the jobs basically, 4.2 million jobs will be created in the Salesforce ecosystem by 2024. Wow, that's amazing. I can't wait for this. Uh, let's see. There you go. That's the surprise, guys. Look, I was talking about, I did mention this in one of my previous video, but I mentioned about, I, my focus was more admin developer, but now here is more. So from admin, business analyst, marketing, sales, service, architect, consultant, developer, designer. But I'm telling you, there are more categorizations under this because you have a Salesforce developer, you got lead developer, you got senior developer, guys. Same thing as a, as a, as a service career and a business analyst, right? And a functional so, and, a, and an architect. So you got Salesforce architect, you got technical Salesforce architect, you got functional Salesforce architect, you got solution architect, right? So, so there are there are many categorizations, right, in, in the job. So how you need to decide where you want to be. Look, do you enjoy helping 
So this is actually in depth about each and every job that you want to do. I'm not saying go ahead and decide, right guys, this is my job, let's do it. But no, look, you can actually read about it. Do you want to be an admin or do you want to be a business analyst? I work with business analysts day, day, night, like, you know, all day. I enjoy working with them. I love talking to clients. That's why I, I love this job. I, and I'm more in functional, right? But what you like, do you like supporting users? Go and become admin and that you will enjoy, okay? You want to be a developer and you want to sit hard code coding, sit on your laptop in the back end and just writing the code and you enjoy it, go for development job, guys. And then if you like designing workshops and you want to design a complete technical solutions where you want to decide, is it code will be a bulkified? Is it code going to be a really complex? You want to guide your developers, guys. This is how you should write the code. Be a technical architect, right? So these are the levels where you need to look and focus, right? It's just a step-by-step -step guide where you want to see and explore things, guys. It's just so much easy, right? So as I said, it's, it's really simple for you. I'm happy to talk as well. If somebody wants to talk, please let me know. We can talk about it. But again, chapter one starts with, start with your user. Chapter two, you need to find the trails and you need to start with your trail mixes. Chapter three, you're going, you need to choose your career, right? So these three chapters will be coming to you guys on the YouTube channel. Please go ahead and watch three, crack on, then we'll do further exercise. I will be coming with a one complete example for you know, how a single trail can help you to work on particular task, right? So task means, I'm not talking about Salesforce task, task means what, what task have been assigned as an admin or as a developer to you and a business analyst, how they work on it. I will, I will come, come with those videos as well, but please focus on these three videos that I've just recently done and carry on. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Chase. Bye-bye.